Hello everybody and welcome to Free Rugby on Free Sports for today's preview as Italy take on Wales who are chasing a Six Nations Grand Slam this weekend in Rome. And a big game for, for, for Italy just to keep sort of, they just need to keep improving. I think that's the major thing. You know, under quite a lot of pressure, quite a lot of scrutiny as they, they always are for not being able to compete with the teams. And you can kind of understand why because it has been years and years of Italy just always kind of being there for the ride as opposed to, you know, ever sort of, competing or, or or look like they're really improving however in saying it i think what we are seeing is a is an approach by franco smith that has been long overdue in terms of understanding where they are understanding where they want to go and trying to plot a course towards actually getting there and i think that you know what we've seen in certain like in teams that you have built and had to like prepare for the future is that often it can just take a couple of years but you have to start a process I think where Italy have sometimes gotten it wrong is always trying to compete by, you know, just putting together the strongest side that they think they can in terms of older players, experienced players, players who have been around, um, you know, picking on, on reputation, stuff like that, trying to get a strong team now, where sometimes you can put, run the risk a little bit, but and it is a bit of a risky approach, but sometimes if you go and say, right, I'm going to find 15, 23, 30 talented youngsters or or talented players you might not be the most orthodox players might not necessarily be in the best of form but i can see something i can work with and try and mold them into a game plan into a sort of a long-term vision and stick with it and just try and nurture it that can actually sometimes pay dividends i mean a, a, a perfect example is you look at the lions super rugby and the fact that they were literally on the back of having been relegated from super rugby came back had an average season and they sat there and said right we've got a bunch of youngsters and we've got a couple of older players, but we've got a system. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn these players into players who can fit a system. And when they went on to go and make three finals in a row, it's not like they went and signed any particularly big players. They, they turned players into Springboks. That was the thing. They took players, they saw talent, they saw play, and people um, who could fit a system, and then they implemented that system. And that's what Franco Smith is trying to do with Italy. So, I mean, I think it's a bit harsh for, to call for them to be kicked out of the Six Nations because, you know, when they do play Georgia, they do beat them. Um, in terms of Wales, however, the surprise package of the tournament, you know, I think everyone, everyone, even me admittedly, probably wrote Wales off too early um, because they weren't particularly impressive last year. Um, and they looked like they'd taken a few steps back from um, Warren Gatlin's era. However, this year, and you can argue that they've had the run, the, 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 a bit of luck and, you know, the run of the green and stuff like that. At the end of the day, you, you have to beat what's in front of you. And they have beaten what's in front of them three times out of three. You know, and Scotland, Ireland, England, those are good sides to beat, you know. So, I mean, Ireland and England are, 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 are two of the most consistent sides of the last few years. You know, and Scotland, I think, is one of the best Scottish sides I've watched in my lifetime. I think they're playing some really, really good rugby. They're very exciting. And they have been quite unfortunate. And there have been, you know, sort of situations, you know, all the red cards, stuff against Wales. But against England, even despite the refereeing controversy, they were the better side. They played and they deserved their victory. Um, so this should be an interesting game. You've got Wales who are full of confidence and, um, and will likely sort of probably put quite a few points on um, on Italy and themselves. Um, and then Italy, as I said, it's just about taking the next step, about being trying to be a little bit more competitive, trying to get put together a bit more of a complete performance. We've seen some really promising moments from Italy. They just need to do that a little bit more consistently to show that as a side, they are actually progressing and they are taking steps towards being something more than just you know the 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 team to be well the team that gets beaten 50 60 70 points every season you know they do want to try and and become a bit like a scotland where they can have set aside on their day where they can be a little bit interesting you know you want to be in a situation where it comes down to the last weekend you know and maybe Ireland need a bonus point victory against italy and that's not a sure thing you know and um, or even the fact that a victory might not be a sure thing if they have to sit there and they they have to go and name their best side and actually have to really go and take on Italy to try and get that game. You know, that's the sort of situation you want to be in where Italy can not necessarily, they don't even have to necessarily challenge for the title, but can still have um, a, 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 an actual effect on what happens in the competition because they have the capacity to beat other teams. Um, and that's where you want to get. That's the first step is just to make sure that if they beat a couple of sides, they are still having an impact on the tournament as a whole. They don't have to go and win it. They don't have to be challenging for it. But at least help make it interesting and make and and, and not just be the the guaranteed five points every time. Um, and if you look at the side, it's quite a lot of continuity, but there are a few changes um, for 
the Italians. Um, the big one is no Spirindio at wing there. Uh, Matteo Bellini comes in in place of him. That is the only backline change. Stephen Varney is fit. Well, he's, ba he's back. Um, I'm saying to the usual sort of backline we've seen. Stephen Varney is, however, fit and back. He injured himself in the warm-up, but he is back for the Azuri this weekend. Um, two new props, um, Nicolo Canone and um, Gizzo Zolocci come in there. Um, and their partner, Luca Busy, in, who is the captain of the side. Also a change as um, Nicola Cannon comes in at um, lock. He partners David Cici. An unchanged loose trio of Sebastian Nigri, um, Johan Meyer, and um, Michelle Lemaro. Paulo Gilbizzi keeps the number 10. And, and I think it's good to see. I mean, I think Frank Smith is just going to keep those two playing as much as they can. And even if he doesn't last the next couple of years, even if he gets replaced, in two or three years' time, you're going to have somebody in Stephen Valoni and Paulo Gobizzi, who will literally be, in three years' time, they will be 22, 23 years old, you know, and they will have had four years of international rugby under their belt. That is that is what they are doing, you know. I mean, can you imagine in six years' time, when they enter their peak at 25, 26 years old, and they can really sit there and say, well, we've been playing international rugby for six, seven years. You know, this is this we are, we are used to this. We've played... Chances are they would play for almost every side by then, and they'll sit and 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 that's what that's not the whole idea is is to get them playing at this um, level regularly enough that they are that, that when they get into their peak that they can be competitive. Um, Montana Ioni, I think, is a really nice player. Um, he keeps his jersey as well as Carlo Canna, um, Julia Ignacio Bricks, and um, Tekei Petrula. And then on the bench, Oliveira Fabini, Fabini um, Andrew Lavotti, Marco Riccioni, Marco Lazzaroni, Maxime Mbanda. Um, Marcelo Violi, Federico Mori, and Eduardo Padovani as well. They will provide the cover off the bench. In terms of the Welsh side, quite a lot of continuity, not too many changes um, there for them. Just the two changes to the starting line. The first one is Corey Hill has come off the bench and he gets a start. And Gareth Davies is back at scrum half. Apart from that, it's an unchanged side. Um, so if we look at the, it's a very, it's been a very strong pack. And a very strong front row. Win and Win Jones has been brilliant. Probably the, the standout prop in the tournament so far. Ken Owens, Thomas Francis, the, the rest of the front row. Corey Hill partners the ever young Alan Win Jones, who just keeps extending that record for the most international caps of any player. Um, and he's just he's just too good. He's just too consistent. You know, not never necessarily been a world beater, but he just produces the same thing week in week out. He's Mr. Reliable. And then for me, I, one of the most exciting loose trios, probably in world rugby. I think Josh Nabidi is playing some fantastic rugby now. Looked really good off the bench in the first game. Got injured, came back. I think he's looking really good. We know how good Justin Tupperick is. Um, one of the best um, flankers in the in the world. And Interlapo Falatau is a very nice player as well. Garrett Davies, Dan Bigger. Dan Bigger keeping his place. Um, despite the heroics of Callum Sheedy a couple of weeks ago, he still remains on the bench. Um, the two wings are Josh Adams and Louis rees <laughs> I mean, how many more tries can Louis rees Rack up in the championship. That is becoming the question. Um, just an unbelievable talent there. Jonathan Davies, George North, very good center partnership there. Liam Williams at fullback. Lee Halfpenny continues to be sidelined. Elliot D, Reese Carr, Leon Brown, Jake Ball, and, uh, Aaron Wainwright, Lloyd Williams, Callum Sheedy, and Willis Halaholo are the options off the bench. So at the end of the day, it's a Welsh side that should put quite a few points on Italy. That should be quite a comprehensive victory. Um, hopefully, I'm, I mean, I'd like to see a sort of like a 35-20 game, you know, a game where Italy can actually go and score some points and can actually go and express themselves because they have had some good moments. And I always tell me that I try to look at the, at the positives. And I do think whilst maybe we're not seeing on the results a huge change, the commitment to, to playing young players and to, and to trying to build something, it will take time. It will take time. But hopefully it will pay dividends, you know, because at the end of the day, regardless of where, and then and even if they get put down or whatever, they need to start building up a decent style. They need to start taking this a little bit more seriously and, you know, being able to back the youngsters, back players who people can identify with and, and can sort of sit there and say, well, you know what? Um, you know, if he got um, picked up without having too much experience, why can't I go on and do that? You know, creating heroes for a long time, creating legends in the game. It does a lot for Italian rugby long term. And that's what Franco Smith is trying to do. But I think, I think Wayne Pivak will, and Assad will probably... Um, now, and they, 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 will, they should get the victory. It shouldn't be any issue. We can't guarantee they will, but it should be no issue. It is the first game of the weekend. It is in Rome. Um, and a big game for Wales to just sort of tick the boxes as they then prepare for the big one against France next week as they go for that Six Nations Grand Slam. Score predictions down in the comments. Smash a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel. My name is Stephen, and I will chat to you very soon. Yeah.